What is up you guys? This is Ryan back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and we are playing our first head-to-head -head season gameplay against yes at the time this guy was ranked number one on the Mutt head-to-head -head leaderboards and you'll see why at the very end of the video but take a look at our guy right here Monty Ball with a nice stutter step spins away from a tackle and he's gonna go all the way to the end zone for a touchdown to the 30 the 20 the 10 5 end zone touchdown Monty Ball 80 yard touchdown to start off head to head seasons what a way to start off our first gameplay the first time even touching the sticks we get ourselves a huge touchdown but this guy's going to answer right back with a big gain of his own on his kick return gets himself down to the 29 yard line and he's got philip rivers he actually has a really good team like i said he started playing head to head seasons i guess a long time ago he must have had the game early but he's going to go ahead and make a mistake throw an interception here to donald butler and if you take a look at his team he has a lot of good players ranging from like we got Phillip Rivers, he has, uh, I think he has Earl Thomas, AJ Green, and Monty Ball is running all over this guy already. 128 yards for Monty Ball. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. It's second down and seven. We're going to make a really bad read here. Sammy Watkins deep. And like I said, it's my first time playing. I'm going to make a little bit of mistakes trying to get used to the passing. And then again, I probably should have threw it the triangle right there. I thought I had circle open for a touchdown. Ends up almost intercepting it. So we'll go ahead and take our points. And we're going to go up 10 nothing in this game. And we're looking pretty good right now. We make a really weird play right there. We dive at the beginning of the play, but it doesn't matter because our defense ends up getting a hit stick and we get the fumble recovery back. I don't know why I dove right there. I guess I was trying to like engage with the line and I did it a little bit too early. I was trying to learn how to do that little snap thing. And I thought you could do it anywhere. I guess I was wrong, but uh, we do got the ball back now with 19 seconds to go. And James Casey's going to get the handoff up the middle, fullback dive, take it a couple yards, gain of about 14 for the big guy. Uh, I think he's a converted tight end actually he's playing fullback now and take a look at this Monty ball actually gets stripped on the play Orlando Franklin is not able to pick up the fumble and the guy gets the recovery So not a really good turn of events right there. I was really hoping to get back into the end zone uh, Bad pass right here to him. He's trying to go to DeMarco Murray Kullenberger would be happy about that DeMarco Murray is you know one of those really good running backs in Mutt 15 to start off and we get a nice big hit stick on him again. Doesn't fumble that time. So first down and 10. He's just going to keep running the ball up the middle. We're going to have to eventually try to stop it and get something going. Um, it looks like Eric Reed tried to go for a one-handed pick right there. That would have been nice, but unfortunately did not work out in our favor. AJ Green gets a nice catch here on a slant. He's got all three of his timeouts. 46 seconds to go. No issue for him trying to get into the end zone to get some points on the board. But we're going to go ahead and try to get another turnover, try to get another stop. He's going to go ahead and find a receiver open here. It's AJ Green on a post. And now he's got the ball in really good position here to get into the end zone or get a field goal. Uh, really crazy play right there. My cornerback, Byron Maxwell, almost runs up and picks that off. But unfortunately, he was not able to get his hands around the ball and get that interception. So he's going to go ahead and run up the middle with DeMarco Murray. Big hit again on him. We're crushing him this game, but he's just going to plow his way through and get into the end zone. So the score is now 10-7. to Let's go ahead and see if we can at least get into field goal range. That would be nice. Mike Evans on the nice rub route right here. I know that sounds funny, rub route. That's actually what it is, though. So now we got six seconds on the clock, and we're going to go ahead and use Matt Stafford's 99 throw power. Complete the pass downfield to Mike Evans, but we get tackled right there at the seven-yard line. Almost a crazy play getting in the end zone before half, but unfortunately, we do not. And this is where he's going to go ahead and start running the ball with DeMarco Murray. Every play, right up the gut, right into my defenders, just taking every hit he can, every first down he can. He's going to get it all the way downfield. Let's see if we can stop him. We have to get a stop. Uh, when people do this at the beginning of the year, it's always hard to stop because you don't really have a good defense and you can't get the push up the middle that you need. Uh, Eddie Lacy comes in right there, third down and two, and then Eddie Lacy again is going to go ahead and get the first down. So he has some pretty good running backs. DeMarco Murray, Eddie Lacy, not bad to start off with in Madden 15, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm over here using Monty Ball and Toby Gerhardt, so it's definitely a big time upgrade. In comparison to my running backs, I'm over here using Toby Gerhardt and I'm using Monty Ball, so... I would definitely rather have DeMarco Murray and Eddie Lacy. Ends up throwing the ball on third down and fourth down. Doesn't get the first down. So now we got the ball back on the turnover. Let's go ahead and run some clock off ourselves. I didn't even know about the chew clock feature. I wasn't really paying attention to it. I mean, I knew it was there, but I didn't think to use it. It would have been very helpful in this situation. We're going to go ahead and throw the ball right there. Get a first down. Monty ball up the middle. We'll pretty much run into the left side. And his guy just stood there. I don't even know why he didn't even try to engage with me for a minute. I guess he didn't realize he was clicked into that guy. He didn't even try to tackle me. But we got Monty Ball right here running to the right side. Gain of about five. Clock is ticking down. That's going to take us down to the two-minute warning. Monty Ball again up the middle. And he's going to be one yard shy of getting a first down. You know what that means. Big time. Casey up the middle. And that's going to get us a first down. Monty Ball again taking the handoff. Loss of about one. So second down and goal. Try to punch it in there with Ball. And this kind of scared me right here. I thought he was going to fumble the ball. And he was just one-handing that thing all across the field. 
and we try an FL screen. This does not get into the end zone. Stupid decision by me. So fourth down and goal. We're going to go ahead and try to take the touchdown because he's going to have to drive like 95 yards to get a game-winning drive or a game-tying field goal. And we get the touchdown to Andre Roberts to pretty much seal the game. His only hope here is to get a touchdown, get the onside kick, get another field goal or whatever, and try to win this game. You know that does not happen very often in Madden. You have to get extremely lucky. He's already at third down and 10, and he runs into his lineman right here with DeMarco Murray. Not the best thing you want to do when you're down by two scores in the fourth quarter. And Major Wright's going to go ahead and just seal the game up right here, get the user pick with Major Wright. I wasn't actually usering him the entire time. We did click in and get that user pick. I think they should change that. If it's a user pick, you should be controlling him the entire way. I think that's that that's what should be a user pick or classify as a user pick. Um, but we have 26 seconds to go. We're just going to stand here a little bit, see if someone gets open. He's not blitzing anybody. We find an open receiver downfield. It's Mike Evans. And try a little stutter step move. So 17 seconds to go. Dwindling down to 8 seconds. And why not go for the touchdown? I mean, it's brand new Madden. We get a little bit extra coins if we score. No harm done. No harm, no foul. Mike Evans gets in there for the touchdown. That's going to be the game. We win by a score of 23-7. to And we're going to go ahead and show you on the leaderboards that this guy was number one. And he played a lot more games than everybody else. mg 414 AA. I guess I got the game early, but as always, if you are new to my channel and you do wish to subscribe, you could go ahead and do that. Definitely greatly appreciate it. If you do, I will be making a lot of Madden 15 videos, a lot of Madden 15 gameplays, Madden 15 Ultimate Team, you name it. And to my longtime subscribers, give the video a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.